Working with dogs professionally is a dream come true, but also my inevitable destiny. I was put on this earth to do one thing, to help people help their dogs. Now I've never been the type to relax on vacations and just chill out. Put me on a plane and send me overseas to the most beautiful places with my family. But my mind constantly spins. It's filled with images of all the reactive dogs I've already met and those I haven't. Because it's more than just aggression, behavioral problems, and lack of obedience. It's fear and anxiety that families are torn apart and it's real lives on the line. I care too much about how other people live their life with their dogs. Empathy plays a role um, in everything. It's, it's very emotional for me at some times because when I'm watching a video, sometimes I like, I'll get all tearful and I'm watching and thinking, wow, that, that's happened in real life. You know, that, that woman who, who, who couldn't control that dog that was having to go and get put down or something, that he's turned that around. And I'm watching stuff here today and it's like, wow. You know, I have this feeling inside that it's like, that's just amazing, you know? Hmm. Tricky, you know? I truly believe it is one of the most important uh, traits or personal characteristics that anybody can develop for any aspect of their life. I truly believe that. It's his passion more than anything. I think his passion comes through in person and you can really see what this means to him. It's, it's, it's a small thing with just a, a dog and a human, you know? And then when you see them coming together and it work, it's just beautiful. It's, it's mad. I would describe Laura as the ADHD of German Shepherds. She sees something and it's, wow, look at that over there. Uh, I want to go and see that, this, I want to go and see that. As soon as she sees another dog, it's like, bang. I, I can't food lure her, nothing else matters. She'll look at you as if to say, sorry dad, but you know what? I'll probably do that again in a minute. I'll have them come in, I think. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, you can come on in. So we're outletting things. Yep. Just proofing things. This is this is the state she gets herself in when I say she spins up. Yeah, well, she's also so used to doing that. She sees a dog, she loses her and you either avoid, but what we need to start doing is reprogramming her when she sees a dog what to do. She should be looking at you, but your lack of engagement unravels this like so easily. Yeah. She doesn't pay attention to you normally or little bits. So when she sees a dog, it doesn't take much to soak a damp rag. Your commands just aren't sustainable. She's picking and choosing when she wants to listen. Absolutely, absolutely. I've been unfortunate in that. I've had a lot of bad advice and perhaps followed it with her. All right, let's work on some engagement. I know that that's a big thing for yeah. you guys. So this is normally what you see, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I just want you to watch me work with her for one sec. Sure. But just try to be more like, hey, this is me and you. I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna come back in. I want you to watch how I would do this. So when you come in, she's gonna be like, okay, what's this floor? What's this person? What's going on? Your drawback, Laura. Good. Good. A little bit of food. Good. Holding. Moving just a little bit, anticipatory. Good. Come back a little bit. Yeah. Not only this weekend will you see world-class communication skills with a dog, but you will see them implemented by a world-class canine leader. And I can vouch for Tommy's never seen any of the dogs that he's gonna work with this weekend. There's been nothing. What I look for is how is that relationship built quickly? 
to open up that communication pathway quickly to then get to the essence of dog training. I would like you to do this. I need you to stop doing this. That's it. The communication pathways are closed. That's difficult. It's hard. You're fighting. It's conflict. It gets nasty. If we can open them up, it's easy. We get to have fun. And then we can move away from all the horrible stuff and we can start moving towards the fun stuff because the dog's more naturally engaged. So engagement is the dog paying attention to handler. And so you have to get kind of creative. There, yeah, there you go. Good. Oh, come. Yeah. Good girl. Yes. Good, do it again. Draw back. Oh, come. Good. So every time you draw back, you want to say her name and tell her to come because if she doesn't, you can give her pressure and then she learns. The, the objective of any correction is to teach. If you're constantly correcting a dog, you're doing something wrong. If you're still on training wheels after two weeks or three weeks or four weeks, you have a, you, maybe you have the wrong teacher or something, right? So the objective is to correct, to teach. Yep. Like people always like, you know, if you see them out and they're just banging and banging and banging, correct, 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 heel, heel, heel. The dog probably doesn't really understand what you're asking because they don't want that. They're like, well, fuck, okay. So, Laura, come. Yes, good, come, good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna demo it. Uh, she might be okay with it here. Laura, come. Yes, good. She's not getting paid for that externally. So now watch, Laura, come. That's it. That's what a correction is. Don't tell the people on the internet though. It's, <laughs> it's abuse to them. So now you practice it again. See if we're sustainable. Let her out. Use you as a distraction. Laura, come. Yes, good girl. Well done. Pay, break. Corrections are there to teach, right? We got Laura four years ago uh, and I retired this year. Um, and we, we, I kind of got to the point where we we were getting frustrated and we just didn't know where to turn. Before I was working with dogs, I was working with young people with special needs and behavior problems. And I would say 95% of my work was always coming back around to try and help develop the empathy in the young people that I was working with which helped them unlock a different sense of meaning in life and a way of looking at life. Positivity, understanding, relationship, communication, all of those things become better when you can better empathize with other people and then in the context of working with dogs now when you can better empathize with the dog. So I think on a personal element, empathy is everything, but then on a success element, it's then everything. Because once you can empathize with somebody, you can understand where they are and put yourself in their position. You can then better see the strategies to successfully implement whatever it is that you're trying to implement. If giving your dog love would train your dog, I wouldn't, no, no, dog, no dog trainer would have a job. Good girl, here. Let's see how she's like. She's very... Okay, yep. Good. So we're gonna blend in a little bit more, okay? Sit. Good. Yes. Good. Okay, I'm gonna blend her in a little bit. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna use motivation because I think that that's what's gonna drive her through. I was like, I don't really wanna to go to that party. I'm like, well, you can go and work. Okay, fine. I'm talking to you, but settle down, pay attention to me. Yes, there's a dog, but what about this? Good. Good. Down, work, sit, work, looking, down, good. Work, 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 yes, good. So we're gonna start blending that in. So it's like getting into a cold plunge. For her, when she comes out here, she's like, oh yeah, I can't, I can't breathe, what's going on? And so what we have to do is like, hey, take, watch me for a second. Let me guide you through this. That's what I'm doing. There's no getting around that. That's all drive, that's all personality, that's all genetics. When she comes in, she's like, oh God, oh God, oh God. You can't, that's not gonna go away. Stay. Good. Good girl. Good, good. So see how she's, that's how she is on the leash. Yeah. What you need to do is control that. Because that's what you're seeing. Is she's out and she's doing mentally she's oh yeah. oh god oh god oh god oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. and you just have to say hey focus good this is much this is really great yes good okay break. yes good girl 
Stay. Good. Lower it down. Work. Scanning. She's like, but, but, but. Lower sit. Good. Okay. Lower down. Lower sit. Good. And then I would have a sit. You have your ball? Here. Don't let her see. Lower down. Good. Lower. Yes. Good girl. Good. Randomizing the reward will make her focus on you more than that. Okay. Because whatever the re whatever reward she gets comes from you. That's a little deep. Does that make sense? We tried IGP, I I IPO. She she was quite young. Their advice was, oh, put her on a prong or put her on a very thin slip and almost choke her out, which obviously yeah. not cool. She's focused really on that, but she's got to go through you to get it. What that does is it blurs everything else around her out. That's what it should do. Anyway, okay? I'll see. Okay, go ahead. And she's, she's not an easy dog Out by any means. Uh -uh. And the most, the no. biggest thing that she needs right. is Out. work, like what I'm doing, in time. Out. She just needs time. She needs to develop some skills to outlet what's going on in her brain. There are good trainers out there. Unfortunately, it's a lot of hard work to find the good trainers, but, but just, just persevere. Sometimes it's a case of buy nice, buy twice, isn't it? Now, now, now go towards the ball and put her into a down. Down. And then uh, grab the ball. Leave it. Good. Throw it in front of her. Leave it. When she looks at you, pay her. Give it to her. Yes. Yep. Yep. Good girl. We got to do more of that. Good girl. Okay. So that Good girl. up to yeah. you. And so what unlocks the thing that she wants the most is that engagement. She looks up at the handler, you get paid. She looks up at the handler, we play. So instead of taking all of that very drivey, worky, anxious, what am I gonna do with myself dog and letting her expel that and distribute that everywhere else to people and definitely dogs, we're saying, you're gonna put all of that through me. We're gonna practice that religiously. And then once we get around other dogs, we'll be able to hit play and it'll make sense. That, that is the moment. That's the thing that, like I was saying earlier, doesn't get boring. Where people really get it is when they see that relationship with their dog flip and then their dog become happier because of it and that magic moment is very hard to deliver to somebody through content they have that's a very um emotive thing for people to experience so everybody i think takes different paths to it the big thing that i do find though is that whenever you do it through conflict through drama through hatred through anger I have yet to see that work, ever, in any context, not just dog training. If we can get the reactivity dialed in, I think she would be quite a nice little dog all the time. Okay, on. Good job, Nick. Good. Welcome. Just be good more uh, straightforward. You can pay her whenever you want. That's yes. really good, yes. Good girl. Yes, but good. Out. Nice job. That was perfect. Oh. Nice job. Slow down a little bit. Inside turn. Cut her back around. Good. good. Girl. Nice. This way. Nice. Good girl. Nice. Back this way. Hey. Hey. Back this, this way. And we'll put her into a sit. Come. This way. First. Sit. It's groundbreaking for, for me. It, in my own mind, it's actually I can have the dog that I think Laura is. It's. It's great to see Laura interact with Tom. She's gonna to walk by you, okay? Good girl. He explains it, it in such a way that my little dyslexic brain goes, yeah, I see what I'm doing wrong now. When she has a ball, is she usually okay? Or is this good? So, uh, th this is the best I've seen her. <laughs> best I've seen her. Like I say, usually she's, she's way up yeah. there now. Okay, let's go. I, I can't even describe how much of an improvement it is. Good. Can you look at the camera when you say that? I'm just kidding. <laughs> if we had a good out, good release, yeah. I'd really be able to take advantage of that here. We'd go O-U-T, she'd go ball, dog, ball, dog, and I would do a little bit of OB, she'd nail the ball again, we'd be back in business. 
because her out isn't that solid, I can't yep. really utilize those exercises. It's a pacifier for her a bit. And I'm, and again, because of how intense she was, I'm, I'm okay with that. Yep. I mean, it's two days, right? Yeah, Imagine absolutely. if you work with somebody for a couple of weeks. Absolutely. I, I mean, that was our, that was our life, hiding behind cars whilst other, whilst other dogs came past. I've now got clarity of where I'm going. More importantly, I've got clarity of where I was going wrong. And Tom's given me a clear path of what I need to do next. There is a lot of stuff out there on the internet. All, all I would say is choose your, choose your sources wisely. I would never get rid of Laura. At, I just, I just wouldn't. I would continue to manage the problem. Now I know that from what Tom's shown me, uh, Laura is capable of, and what I'm capable of, uh, I know that there is a better future uh, up ahead. Yes, of course. Yes. Appreciate it. All right, man. Good question. Obviously, it's been absolutely amazing. Um, I learned. I I think I've learned so much more than I thought I would. How we take so much time to assess something, if that makes sense. Because obviously, as dog trainers, you see a problem and you, of course, everybody wants to just, you know, dive straight in and, and work on it, which, like I say, we all do, because that's what dog trainers do. But to watch him just take so much time to figure things out and, you know, pick pieces apart and, um, yeah, I think that's a massive thing for me is to just, yeah, just just not rush things. So yeah, it's been really cool um, way to see how Tom works with dogs in terms of how quickly he develops that relationship with them, how quickly he just gets them, how quickly he can get to the root of the problem and just analyze it and also coach people through it, especially when people don't necessarily have the same levels of experience and knowledge as Tom does. So whenever something seems so overwhelming and daunting to people, he just breaks it down and makes it seem less daunting, but he doesn't just leave it there. He gives them a roadmap for the future. This is what you should be doing. So they're not just kind of left, oh, cool, I've worked on this. What should I be doing next? They're kind of like, aha, I know what I should be doing next, as Tom told me was just so much fun. It's interesting to see in person, because we've all seen the YouTube videos of Tom and we all, we all really enjoy watching those things, but it's nice to see it in person, have those little back and forth with him, pick his brains on stuff. And it was also great to sort of see the progression of the dogs and his sort of relationship build with the owners over over the, the weekend, because that was, that was really nice to see as they started to trust him more and the dogs started to come along and he started to react, interact differently with each owner, which I thought was really impressive because you could see he could pivot talking to this owner this way and this owner that way and it seemed to just be right. I really really like the style in which that Tom trains, it's like he's, a, he's such a good problem solver and like if something, if he's got an idea on something it's not going the right way, he's got a million ten other ideas that he can do to help that, not just that client but that dog as well. Yes, it's been amazing, like just eye-opening in every way, um, just to see Tom explain to you know the owners what he's doing and why he's doing it uh, and also seeing like him work the dogs it's just been like out of this world i am aspiring dog trainer i'm gonna say early days so this was just really good for a confidence boost i have been following tom for a while uh, with his podcast videos and so on but it's just nice to see everything face to face and see all the little nuances and obviously having questions answered and so on so it's been really good it's been an incredible experience. The stuff I've learned is invaluable. Like the whole process, the way that Tom breaks things down, the way he makes them, everything so simple for you to understand and like the basics going back to the beginning and starting again. What we've seen with Leon, our dog that we've got here already in a day and a bit is quite incredible. And what he's done with some of the other dogs that are here is just, just fantastic. It's been a great all round experience. It just fills you with confidence again that nothing's irretrievable. You shouldn't give up because there are ways and there are people out there, whether it's in person or via videos, where you can learn more. Everyone can always learn. Thank you. All I can say is sign me up for next year uh, and we'll see where we are in 12 months. I'm on smoke.
What's going on guys? It's your boy coming back at you live from the Royal here? Standard. Tonight we're gonna go check the stakes. We're gonna make sure everybody's live, good and getting better, onward and upward, over and out. Cheers. 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 Yeah, 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 like, 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 sixteenth hour without sleep. <laughs> Holly has something to say. Go ahead, Holly. I wanted to say that was an incredible experience. Thank you for having me. I'm a little welled up. On that note, Jesus happy birthday, 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 Happy birthday! It kind of makes sense. Know. We never make his birthday. Oh, we gotta oh, change to Bobby DeSantis. Oh, oh, Bobby DeSantis. Oh, Bobby DeSantis. Oh, Bobby DeSantis. Oh, Bobby DeSantis. Oh, Bobby De